Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I am Pam Hiller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. Happy New Year. We're getting ready. This is our last show of 2020. Looking forward to 2021. Okay, Christina's in the house. How was your happy birthday Christmas week? Wonderful. Nice and relaxing. We didn't do a darn thing. It was lovely. Right. Look at us in our little crowns. We look beautiful. <laughs> our little New Year's crowns. Uh, you didn't do anything? You just hung out? No, we saw my parents and... That was it. We just played cards all night. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. We in Nebraska had a little bit of snow yesterday. Just a little bit. Six inches or so. So <laughs> did you dig out of that yesterday or today? Tim did. Yeah, Tim, Tim did. Ray did. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a snowblower that has Ray's name on it, and he just snowblowed, and <laughs> he did the neighbors. So, we, okay, we have neighbors. There's Brian and Chicken Brian. Chicken Brian. Chicken Brian, because Brian lives on one side, and Brian, who lives on the other side, has chickens. Okay. So he helped Chicken Brian. <laughs> I like that. Does he All know right. you call him Chicken Brian? We always call him Chicken Brian. Okay, good. Like to his face and everything. Hey, Chicken Brian, <laughs> how you doing? Okay, where are people uh, watching us from? Oh, lots of people in the snow. <laughs> and we're excited about that. Somebody had like 12 inches of snow. Oh, people love our crowns. I know I'm excited about that. All right. Here is the photo of the day. I'm so excited about this. Okay. What is it? I want to know because the question of the day is, which AccuQuilt die did Santa put under your tree? Okay, Christina, do, what do you think is going to be people's die? I think maybe the gnome, but also the gnomes. I feel like the Arkansas Traveler was really popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe a cube or two? Oh, definitely a cube or two. So in the comments section, tell us, what did Santa put under your tree? I'm going to tell you my two favorite dyes of the year. Um, I got them long before Santa. <laughs> um, because sometimes I get to test dyes, which is one of my favorite parts. Um, so, of course, the pickup truck die, right? Because mm, it was course. built for me. It's Pam's pickup. I keep trying to tell them, the marketing team that we need to change the name of that. <laughs> um, and then my very favorite Bob die of all time was the Storm at Sea. Oh, yes. You do love that one. I do love that one. Okay. Which it's hard not to. It's beautiful. I know. It's just stunning. It's just stunning. Okay. Now, did you love our little pictures and our little, while you waited for our show to start? Listen, send us your pictures of your quilts. We'll, we'll showcase them for you. So today we have some. This is Cindy P. And look at this. She made her tumbler quilt. And this is super cute mm -hmm. because she, totally scrappy. She made them all the same colors. I really like that. Good job, Cindy. It almost looks like braided too. It's it does beautiful. look like braided. Or what is that called? Weaving? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a quilter. I don't weave. <laughs> yes, good job, Cindy P. I'm glad we got that. Okay, next we have Kathy S. Okay, this was my very favorite picture on <laughs> social media this week. Look at her haul. Okay, so she got a Go Me, and she got a cube, and she got a whole bunch of dies, and she got the Christmas stocking dies, and a whole bunch of piles of goodies, and the look on her face is priceless. I love it. Tears of joy. She's like, what am I going to do with all she of this? She did say in the comment that she was ugly crying when she got it. It was ugly crying. I know. It was really Which cute. Which is so cute. And whoever did this for you, Kathy, good job making sure you had mats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, next we have Roberta H. And look at this super cute quilt. So this is our cute car. And it has a free embroidery download, but it also has, like, for purchase yes, embroidery download ones. files. Right? Yeah, look at how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, so be sure and share with us the quilts that you've been working on, the projects you've been working on, and we'll showcase them for you next year. Okay? Which is, like, in three days. Okay? All right, today. Today is the day I get to talk about my all-time favorite shape. My all-time favorite shape in the entire quilting world are half-square triangles. And people ask me all the time, why half square triangles? Do you have any idea, Christina, why they're my favorite? I feel like because they're so versatile and you yes. can do anything. Yep. Yes. They're the basic building blocks of quilting. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about them. And the thing about the AccuQuilt system is that in every cube, there are actually two half square triangles. Yes. There's a big half square triangle, which is shape number three, and a smaller shape, uh, half square triangle shape number five. And today I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ways to use just half square triangle dies and then some ways to use them with other shapes to really get those creative juices flowing. I just really love half square triangles. Okay, 
Now today, because it is the end of 2020, um, we're gonna give you a code today. We're gonna give you a little discount because you are our AccuQuilt Live family. You're gonna be able to take an additional 15% off your order with the code QUILT15. So Christina, right on our website, there's a whole bunch of discounts, right? Yes, there's currently promotions for the end of the year, but this stacks on top, so you kind of get a double dip a little bit. You get a double dip. Yeah, I love that. Quilt 15 is the code. Exclusions apply. Um, they're listed on the website. So we're going to talk about the cube system. So how much is our 8-inch cube today? $150. With all. all of those discounts. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay? Yes. So use Quilt 15. Okay, Cody, all year I waited for Pam said so. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> Let's hope so for 2021. Okay, today we're giving away our free go 2.5-inch half square triangles multiple die. Whew. Save that all That's fast. A mouthful. <laughs> and a two pack mat and a six by 12 cutting mat. To share, to win it, all you have to do is share our video on your personal Facebook page. And Christina is going to pick a winner at the end of the show, but that's not really true. No, it's Leslie. Leslie does this. The comments go by so fast, and I can't see all the shares, but Leslie can, so she sends me the winner. Oh, Leslie, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for taking care of us. See, first you thought it was me who picked the winner, and then you thought it was Christina, and now the real truth is that it's Leslie. All right, now we have our first invitation event coming January 5th. Um, it's called the New Year, New You. There is no dieting involved at all, <laughs> okay? It starts January 5th, 12 noon central time. This show is how to like spruce up your quilting space and your sewing space. There's gonna be great tips and tricks and useful information. To register, you can click on the link in the comments section or scan the QR code here and it'll, direct, uh, it'll take you directly to the registration page. Christina, why do they want to register? So they can win things. We're going to give away so much So stuff. many prizes. So many <laughs> prizes. And you know what I really want? Mm. I really want somebody to come and clean up my sewing space. There you go. I really would. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying. Okay, that's probably not going to happen, but that's okay. All right, so let's talk about half square triangles. So before we talk about specifically half square triangles, I'm going to open up a cube because we have them and we can't, okay? Now remember, all of the shapes in the cubes are the same in every size cube. They're, they're just different sizes, okay? So here's our eight inch cube. You have to say ta-da when you open it. That's a must. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now pull the skinny one first, um, then you don't break a fingernail, okay? This has like a cutting mat and a training DVD and a pattern book, okay? And then we're gonna pull these out now remember quilters, you want to store your dies like books on a shelf. So the cube system does that for you. Look how nice and organized this is. Okay, if my whole sewing room could look like a cube, we'd be, we'd be golden. Okay, so we're just going to go through the um, eight shapes real quick. Don't forget, a couple of weeks ago, Christina, didn't we talk about all the shapes in the cube? Yes, we've talked about it quite a bit this month, which I love. Yeah. Because the cubes okay. are the perfect system. Yep. Okay, so the shapes are the same. So shape one in every cube is a square. Shape number two in every cube are smaller squares. Keep in mind, quilters, sometimes there are multiple shapes on the die board, okay? Shape number three, remember, every die is numbered, each pocket is numbered, so you can organize them. Shape number three is that larger half square triangle, and I'm gonna pull that one today because we're gonna use it. Shape number four, our quarter square triangles. And I'm actually gonna pull that because we're gonna use that too. And shape number five in every cube are smaller half square triangles. We're gonna use that one today. Shape number six is not just a square, but it's a square on point. It's meant to live on its tippy toes. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make this great block square and square with it. So I'm gonna pull that one out. Shape number seven, Christina, what is this shape? I can't see it. Oh, parallelograms. Parallelograms. Have you ever <laughs> cut parallelograms by hand? No, I don't think I've cut them ever, but I wouldn't want to. Today, you should cut some should with I? a die. Okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. Should I try like cutting it by hand and then try cutting it with yes, a die? Yes, please so I can do. See? <laughs> please do. <laughs> and then we'll post that. Okay. There we go. So parallelograms, really hard to cut by hand. You have to cut a strip and then you cut at 60 degrees and I don't know, it's hard. Okay, I just try to avoid it unless there's a die. <laughs> and shape number eight in every cube are rectangles. Happen to be two on a die board. Okay, 
I'm going to use the 8-inch cube today because the 8-inch cube, for all of those of you who got the Ready, Set, Go for Christmas, this is um, came in your Ready, Set, Go. <gasps> a new mat, Christina. That's the best. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love a new mat. Okay. So let's talk about half square triangles. Okay, so the first ones, um, we're going to talk about the process of cutting a half square triangle with a rotary cutter. To normally, to just do it with a rotary cutter, you're going to cut a strip of fabric, and then you're going to cut a square, and then you're going to mark it, and then you're going to sew it, and then you're going to cut it, and then you're going to trim it. And the chances of you cutting a half square triangle wrong are pretty good, <laughs> right? I bet. Have you, you've never cut one with nope, that? never Christine by hand. Christina's only ever quilted with the ghost system, yes, right? that's true. That is a beautiful <laughs> thing. Every, you should follow Christina's good example, <laughs> okay? Because that's how I learned how to do that, okay? So the same thing if they're smaller, so half square triangles. But I want to talk about this die for a minute because, first of all, you're going to notice that we cut off the dog ears right here, okay? So from this uh, point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam, okay? The guy who designed this, he's an engineer. He's all about that, okay? Quarter inch seams, all right? The seam here. We've cut off the dog ears. From here to here is a quarter inch seam. So quilters ask me all the time, do I cut, do I sew a quarter inch seam or a scant quarter inch seam? And I'm gonna tell you, sew a quarter inch seam. And today I actually brought my sewing machine from home because it has a quarter inch foot on it, okay? All right, so now this is a cool thing. Um, I'll move this real quick, Miss Chelsea, so you can see it. So underneath here is this really cool quilt that I made for Oakley. And all it is is just half square triangles. Okay, they came in fat quarters. So I just cut them all up. It just was totally scrappy. I tried to mix like lights and darks together. But what a total stash buster, because I had these great fat quarters and I wasn't really sure what to do with them. Mm -hmm. So a huge shout out to Stephanie Jacobson. Um, she's part of the Omaha Modern Quilt Guild for her inspiration on this idea. So first of all, if you're thinking half square triangles, what am I gonna do with them? Cut them all up and sew them together. Okay, that's exactly <laughs> what I did here. And I truly, Christina, made it random. It's beautiful. Yeah, I just took like, I cut them up. I tried to do like lights and darks mm -hmm. and I put them in a pile and then I just sewed them together. And because we had that perfect quarter inch seam, when I sewed them together, they just came together beautifully. Oh, it looks it looks very intentional, even though I know it's very scrappy. I yeah, it. yeah. I mean, I just, I just really like it. So, okay, so that's the first thing. If you have, I know you have a stash. We've had this conversation, <laughs> okay? So with your stash, if you're thinking, gosh, I really just kind of want to dive into it, Take that larger shape number three, half square triangle die, and just cut up a whole bunch and sew them together. Mm -hmm. And the, Christina, this was really a good size to start with. Okay. Um, because, you know, it's like a smaller size for a kid or sure. a lap quilt or those kind of things. Okay? All right, so we're going to cut some pinwheels in a second, but I want to know what, are, what people got from Santa. Oh, gosh, so many people. Uh, Martha said that Santa gave her the Go Cubed Ultimate Die Bundle. Oh my god. That's gosh. The, the big guns. So that the one with all, all the cubes. Of them. Yes. She must have been a very good girl. I'm very jealous of her. I am. That's exciting. Um, Kathy said that her kids got her the Go Starter Kit with the 8 inch mix and match. Okay. Uh, Teresa got the pickup, the gnome, alphabet, the house pennants, the burp cloth. All those project dies. Yes, I love it. That is so fun. Yes. That's so fun. Oh, I'm so glad somebody got the ultimate bundle. Okay. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to talk about how, so with my half square triangles, I just did them totally random. But now you can make pinwheels, which are just one of those really basic building blocks, right? And you can make them with the smaller ones, you can make them with the bigger ones, you can use them together. Did you know that our cube shapes work together? I know, it's brilliant. Someone who was not me did the math, so it works. Ask Christina about me and math. Yeah. yeah, it's about as good as me and math. Yeah, it's just, it's just not, okay? So I'm going to cut some half square triangles, and I'm going to show you how I made this pinwheel block. Now, I'm going to tell you, quilters, um, this is just some scrap fabric that I had. When you first start using our dies, I'm going to tell you to um, find some scrap fabric and make some test blocks, okay? Because you really just want to make sure that you're cutting them correctly and you're sewing them correctly. 
Okay, now I'm going to use this die. So this is shape number three. You'll notice, quilters, that it's at an angle. And the reason it's at an angle is because this is a steel blade and inside our cutters are steel rollers. So if this was straight on the die board, every single time that blade would hit that roller, you'd get kind of this jarring effect. But if you have just one wheel, at a t or it's like a speed bump, right? If you hit the speed bump with both wheels, you get that jarring effect. But what happens if you take that speed bump one wheel at a time? So much easier and smoother, okay? The same with our dies. So when I lay my fabric down, I want to find the lengthwise grain because it's nice and tight, okay? And I'm going to cut. Oh. Ooh, Mary wants to know, do you press the seams open with the half square triangles? It depends on what you're making, Mary. Mm -hmm. So hang on one sec. Okay, so I had to think about this for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to cut these and I'm going to cut these, okay? Now, if you were just using um, yardage, I would tell you quilters to measure from this point to this point, which is four and three quarters inches, and just add a quarter of an inch on either side and just rough cut, okay? Um, so just like five and a quarter inches, okay? But I'm just gonna use some scraps, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it. All right, so here we go. And what happens, Christine, if you don't use a mat? Not a darn thing. <laughs> we all know that now. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm using my Go Big today, but quilters, if you own the six, eight, nine inch cubes, you can use any of our cutters, including that cute little Go Me. All right. As it's come through the cutter, I know it only took like, I don't know, 12 seconds. Um, static is built up. So you want to give it a little love, slide, don't lift. Okay. Now. Look how perfect these half square triangles came out, okay? And I just um, cut um, two of each color because I just want to show you how to just do a little chain piecing. Christina, are you a big chain piecer? Yeah, if I can get like a bunch knocked out at once, I definitely will. Right, so when I did Oakley's quilt, I literally sat there with a pile of lights and pile of darks and just chain pieced there for days. There you go. Yeah, and it's just, just so much faster. So like on pinwheels, I would certainly do the same thing. I would cut all of the half square triangles that I would need for my pinwheels, right. okay? So I'm gonna put, oh look, I even brought the right shoes to just flip my feet right <laughs> off here. Okay, Ray suggested that maybe I have slippers for the Dream Studio oh, to wear. Oh, that's genius. I know, he's got me covered here, okay. All right, Christina Wise, so tell me, now look, quilter's here before I start to sew. See, look, right here's that point. We're gonna get a true quarter inch seam. Okay, what did Santa bring people? Oh goodness, um, Kelly said that her kids got her some storage space for her eight million dies. Eight million, I like that about you. <laughs> uh, Mary says that she's her own Santa and she got a 10 inch cube. Oh, good job. Uh, we talk about the 10 inch cube, how great that is. Yes. Because the numbers are all equal. Yes. Yeah. Um, Bev said that she got the 10 inch cube with the corners and angles. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Now listen, all you people who got new dyes for Christmas, you need to share your projects with us. Yes, there should be an influx of people making stuff over the next few weeks. I'm excited to see what everyone's gonna make. I want you to know that the day after Christmas, I have great plans to just like <laughs> um, sew, and I just like slept. Yep. Yeah. I've been watching movies and Netflix and reading a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Christine's kind of binge reading. Yeah. It's kind of fun I've to watch. I've read nine books since Thanksgiving. Yeah. I can't quit. <laughs> I, I don't know it. what the sudden interest is. Like, usually I fall asleep while reading, but. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so with pinwheel blocks, quilters, you want to press to the dark side. So you choose. I'm going to choose the orange as my dark side. Boy, that is a screaming hot iron, okay? <laughs> And yes, again, thanks to whoever told us to put in a mason jar. It doesn't melt the jar. It just keeps the little iron from burning keeps my it fingers. Contained. Yep. Okay. Now, I tell quilters this all the time, and quilters, I'm going to tell you all the time. I'm going to lay out my blocks so I know which way they go. Okay. So here's my little pinwheel block that I made with some scraps from home. Okay. So you'll notice I pressed to the dark side. And then when I'm gonna sew my blocks together, I press one up and one down. 
okay, so that they're gonna nest. I love a good nest, okay? So see how that goes together right there? All right, so I'm gonna sew this block together, and Christina, tell us what did people get from Santa? Um, let's see, Joyce said that she got the three strip dies that she didn't already have. Oh, good job. So she must have quite the collection. I love strip dies. Um, Kim said that she's a first time quilter and got the ready, set, go bundle along with the angles and corners for the cubes. Oh, excellent. And Barbara got the EPP cube. I oh, love that one. English paper piecing. Yes. Christina's been doing that. Sometimes. I love that. I did a test block, which I think is helpful. How did it turn out? Okay. <laughs> the second okay. test block turned out a lot better. Okay. But I finally had the correct needles. Okay. Yes, needles are important. <laughs> okay, so when I sewed these together, then my points are going to come together because I pressed to the dark side. Okay? So pinwheels are one of those great blocks that you can make just all the time. So quilters ask me all the time, Pam, really is AccuQuilt better than rotary cutting? Okay, first of all, I'd still be cutting half square triangles, mm -hmm. right? And I've actually sewn blocks together, okay? So with our Go products, every single time it's gonna be accurate, you can use up to six layers of fabric. So I could cut in one pass 12 half square triangles. We cut off the dog ears, we added that quarter inch seam allowance, all right? So that's just such a complicated process if you're trying to use a rotary cutter. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, next, let's talk about geese. Flying geese. In Canada, do you call them just geese or are they Canadian geese? I think someone's told us that before. I know. I think I they just told the us they was. were geese. <laughs> and that we should stop asking that. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's flying geese. Oh, here. Don't look. This is what's coming up. Holy smokes. It's like trying to give away all the products here. Okay. So flying geese. Christina, do you know what's hard about flying geese in the non-acuquilt world? I don't. So what happens is this is a quarter square triangle and these are half square triangles. Okay. In the non accu quilt world, it's hard to get those points to come together mm -hmm. and like the sides are kind of wonky. Sure. Um, I met a quilter in St. Louis. She said, Pam, I've only ever made a goose. <laughs> and I said, no, no, flying geese, like they're a border <laughs> around a quilt. And she goes, no, I just made a goose. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So um, it's really hard to do that, but we have a die that cuts all of the edges and makes the pieces perfect for you, okay? So we're gonna talk about flying geese and that every cube has flying geese. You're gonna need shape number four, which is the quarter square triangle, and shape number five, what's my very favorite shape? Half square triangles, okay? So again, I have some scrap fabric that I'm gonna use here. Um, oh, there's a pin cushion. Eric is on vacation, like oh, a real vacation. Fun. I know, she, she's not answering her phone or anything. Good, that's okay. the best way to do a vacation. I told her that. Okay, so here are the smaller half square triangles. To make flying geese, you need shape four and five in every cube. So I wanna find that lengthwise grain, that nice and tight. There it is, okay? And I'm just gonna cut a couple of them here. Oh, look, I can cut four, let's do that, okay? Put on my cutting mat, because you can cut six layers. Christina, what are people getting for Christmas? Kathy got a go big. <gasps> Yay! And the eight inch, eight inch mix and match. So she's grateful for the videos because she says it's a little overwhelming. It is. Yes. Here, if you got a new cutter and if you got new dyes, go to your stash, find some fabric you don't love, mm -hmm. and just cut fabric. Practice cutting. Just start cutting stuff up. Yeah. It'll, it'll be so amazing when you're done. We had a really good comment from Connie saying that test blocks make really great hot pads. So I think that'd be a really great place to start, just like making some test blocks and then making little That's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Okay. Okay, so look how fast I cut those little half square triangles. All right, so Miss Chelsea, I'm gonna get right here. So here's my tip of the day. When you're doing, okay, I gotta do it this way so I know which side I'm doing. Okay, you're gonna lay your blocks like this, right? So you always lay them out so you know which way they go. I start, always on the left side. Because I sew from, what is it, Justin? Not the fat end to the skinny end. Oh, from the wide to the narrow. Oh yes, the wide to the narrow end. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So if I'm cutting half, if I'm sewing together flying geese, I'm cutting all my half square triangles and all my quarter square triangles. Now you only need half as many quarter square triangles. Do some math before you start. Okay, Christina. What are people saying? Let's see. I know 
Let's see, Patty said she got the 12-inch cube. Yay! That one's exciting. Um, Vivian said she got lots of AccuQuilt money, so gift cards, I'm assuming. Excellent. Yes. Kimberly got the gnomes, the stocking, the pickup. See? Gnomes and pickups. I feel like it was the deal. Oh, Taylor Heller just called. Imagine that. <laughs> Gosh. I know. Imagine that. Ooh, okay. We have a great comment from Leslie. Okay. She said she started a quilt that requires 256 flying geese. And she never would have started it without her dyes. Oh, Leslie, you are so smart. <laughs> Absolutely. I would never have done that. Okay, so now, see how I've done this? I've sewn this side. So now I'm going to press this away. Okay. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to sew the other side. Now, some of you are going to say in your quilting head, um, there's a gap at the top, and I'm going to show you in a minute why there is a gap, okay? So look how that lines up perfectly. Now, see this little notch right here? It's okay. We cut off the notches. We can sew that quarter inch seam, okay? 256 half score triangles, that's cr or flying geese, that's crazy. That's so many. Um, Mary Ellen said that she got the courtyard. <gasps> Mary Ellen, that's a beautiful die. She said she's going to make a quilt in shades of purple. Oh, please post yeah, that, Mary Ellen. Beautiful. That would be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get my <laughs> I know, my little box of stuff gets more and more. Okay. So now, look at this. Oh, Louise said that she was able to gift herself the snowball bob, the 8-inch cube, and the 12-inch cube. Oh, she's going to make beautiful things. I like the snowball bob. Okay, now I'm going to press away, trying not to burn my fingers. Okay, so look how I did this. Now, I really want you, Chelsea's going to get really close here. Now, some of you are going to say, Pam Heller, you did that wrong. Because look, there's a little gap here. But Christina, is that wrong? Mm -mm. No, because when I sew this piece to this piece with my perfect quarter inch seam, <gasps> ta-da. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so you want to have that little gap on the top. It's going to be a perfect quarter inch seam. Okay, I want you to know that it is so cold in here. Yes. <laughs> we have the air conditioning running. It is like 12 degrees outside. There's six inches of snow. And my, the foot pedal on my sewing machine is freezing cold. <laughs> and my little bare feet. We could have. We could have fixed that. That's all right. Okay. All right, so notice quilters, I'm sewing a quarter inch seam, all right? Don't forget to share because we're giving away our two and a half inch half square triangle die yes. and a six by 12 cutting mat for the chance to win. Leslie's gonna pick it, okay? Ooh, there's a great question from Kathy. I think we've already answered this, but we'll reiterate okay. it one more time. What's Pam's favorite die? Pam's favorite die is wow, the pickup truck. The pickup truck? Not half square triangles? Oh, I have square triangles for days. <laughs> I thought you meant like bob dye or applique oh, dye. Oh, she doesn't specify. Oh, no, a half square triangle is my favorite dye all the time. Yeah. Okay. So look. See how that came together perfectly. And look, you're going to say, oh, Pam, you did this wrong because there's a gap here. No, there's a quarter inch seam. Okay? Flying geese for days. All right, don't forget, you can take an additional 15% off whatever is already on sale at the AccuQuilt site. Yes. Use the code QUILT15. Our cubes are how much? Six, eight, nine inch cubes? Uh, they are 150. 150. Yes. So it's a total of 32% off just about everything. So oh. cubes, dies, cutters. Yes. So it's a great And deal. make sure you get the appropriate size mat. Yes. Because what happens if you try to use the die without a mat? Nothing. Not a darn thing. <laughs> okay, so take that promo QUILT15. All right, now we have our first invitation event on January 5th. New year, new you, no diets involved. <laughs> Starts at 12 noon Central Time. The lovely Eric and I are going to be here. We're going to show you how to spruce up your quilting space. Listen, I really want somebody to just come and do mine, okay? Great tips and useful information. To register, you can click on the link or in the comments section. Scan the QR mm -hmm. code, and it's going to take you right to the registration page. Christina, why do they need to register? So that they can be eligible for all the giveaways. All the giveaways. Yes. We give away so much. 
I know, we have a great time with it. All right, well, are you loving half square triangles? Are they not your favorite shape? Okay. Oh, here, I was gonna show you this. Oh, there's such a fun comment from Vivian. She says, tell Pam I want to make her some wool slippers to keep her sewing toes warm. Sold. <laughs> Sold. That's so sweet. <laughs> that is lovely of you. Okay. Um, this was a quilt that um, Leslie pulled for us. And it has, what shape is this, quilters? <gasps> Flying geese. Flying geese. Look at that cool block. Okay. This is what shape, Christina, do you know? Oh, I can't see what your point oh, is. Oh, sorry, square and a square. Oh, yeah, square on point, right? Square on point, we're gonna talk yeah. about that next. What pattern is this? Somebody's gonna ask. Hold on, I'll It should say on the, on the, yeah. Um, 12 inch on point fiesta. Ooh. I know, appropriate <laughs> for the new year. Make the fiesta quilt. That is really pretty. It makes me wanna have chips and salsa. Ooh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm always down for chips. You say chips and salsa, and I'm you're I'm down. There. My okay, my sister Betsy, her Wi-Fi is chips and salsa. That's, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I know. And I think their password is guacamole. Oh, that's the best. I know. Okay. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> okay. She's like, now I gotta go change the Wi-Fi password because <laughs> ma'am told all the Facebook Live. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about shape number six. Okay, and this is shape number six. And this is not just a square, but it's a square on point. And it's actually the beginning of one of my very favorite blocks called square in a square, okay? Now, it's a normal square is you're gonna measure the sides and they're gonna be equal. The same with square and point. But a regular square just lives on its side, on its back. We call it a sofa square, like in COVID. Just a laying on its square. back, watching Netflix, okay? I've never heard that. <laughs> yes, we're all sofa squares. But square and point is meant to live on its little tippy toes like a ballerina. So the shape you need on the outside to equal a square and a square is what shape? Shape five, which is my very favorite shape, a half square triangle, mm. okay? So we're gonna cut one of these and I have a block made and I wanna show it to you in just a second. And I realized after I made it that our mats are green. Darn it, I should have done it the other way. It's all right, okay. So here's, again, look what I'm doing. I'm just taking my scraps, right? Just taking my scraps, making blocks, okay? And I can cut two of them, all right? And half square triangles. We need four of them, okay? So there are two on the die board, all right? And I'm gonna show you this super cool trick because I own the go big, and so you can actually cut two dies through in one pass. I love a new mat. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go, you ready? Watch this. Sometimes I get so excited I forget, and I put one in, I was like, dang, I could put the other one in too. Okay? Give it some love, slide, don't lift. Give it some love, slide, don't lift. Okay, look how fast we cut these. All right, now, this, I wanna show you how to build this block because I saw somebody on, um, here, I'll do it on the gray, that way you can see it better. I saw somebody on social media the other day and they were a bit confused, okay? Because watch what happens, Chelsea's gonna get a nice close, boy, do we need to fuzzy our mat here. Okay, so quilters were like, this doesn't fit right because see how these little tips come past and these little tips come past? Okay, this is exactly right, because I'm gonna stitch from here to here, and when I pull it back, and I'm gonna do both sides, when I do the other sides, it's gonna match. Okay. Okay, so don't stress about this, okay? No one should stress. And this is that perfect, like, um, chain piecing, but I'm just gonna do these, okay? I'm just gonna sew a couple of them and then show you how it works. Okay, Christina, what did people get from Santa? Donna got uh, the gnome. The Gnomes. <laughs> Good job, Donna. The snail's trail and the Northwoods medley. <gasps> I love Northwoods medley. Yes. If you had the Northwoods medley and the pickup truck die and the gnome die, you could make such cute things. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna press towards those half square triangles. Okay, 
And again, you're going to say to me, Pam Heller, this is wrong because it's hanging over the edge. I promise it's not. Not my first time sewing half square triangles. I'm good. Okay, here we go. What else did people get? Debbie got Hattie's Choice. <gasps> Hattie's Choice is a really great little die. Great yeah. for little projects. That one's one of my favorites. Um, she also got the large crazy quilt die. <gasps> oh, crazy quilts. Yes. Um, Brenda said that Santa came early all year. Good job, um, Brenda. But she's gotten all the new bundles that we've released. Yay! She's been using the bowl cozy every day. Bowl cozies for days. Yes. Did you not make a ton of bowl cozies? I made two. Is that it? Oh, Chelsea made a bunch. Yes. Erica made bazillions of them. Bowl cozies for days. I want to make them like in the summertime when I'm trying to hold ice cream. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now look at you. You're all going to say, hey, Pam, you've done this wrong because see those little tips? <gasps> But watch this AccuQuilt magic. Because now I'm going to lay it, oh, ta-da. It works perfectly. So trust the process. Don't just sew half the block and go, oh, this doesn't work. OK? Oh, Mary said that she got the pineapple dye. Oh, Mary, that is truly one of my favorites because it can be so scrappy. Yeah. We had that really fun one where we made pineapple upside down cake with yes. that. Yes, and there's one in our gallery right now that's really scrappy, which kind of yes. made me think I need that one. Oh, yeah, you should. I love that, the idea of like a super scrappy, just none of it makes any sense. It's just a bunch of pieces. Because isn't that our life? Yes. <laughs> super scrappy, <laughs> none of it makes sense. Okay, so now look at this, quilters. So see how I press this? And now my block is perfectly straight, okay? All right, and all right, I'm gonna show you what I did here. Okay, so this is my square and point, okay? So this is such a cool thing. If you want a cube, you can make this block, all right? So here, Chelsea, I'll hold it up. So here's that shape number six, which is square and point. And then just like I sewed here, see? Shape number five, those are half square triangles. Then this is actually shape number four, which, Christina, what kind of triangles are those? Shape number four. Quarter square. Quarter square. square. Yeah, quarter I square. I never remember. I know. It's OK. <laughs> and then the outside is those big half square triangles, shape number three. So now I've made a square in a square in a square in a square, and my block is finished to eight inches. Oh, look at that. Isn't that super cool? Here's how you're going to remember how to make this block. Shape six shape five, shape four, shape three. Six, five, You're four, welcome. three. I know. It's amazing. Okay, don't forget all of our AccuQuilt Live videos live on our Facebook page. So if you need to come back and review projects that we made today or a few weeks ago or back in July, um, you can. They just live on our Facebook page. We have some really good stuff in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, really good educational kinds yes. of things. Our YouTube page has a bunch of stuff. Our Facebook page has a bunch. Yeah. You could spend the whole day just hanging out with you and me. Just, just hanging out with me and Christina. <laughs> It'll be fun. All right. So how does AccuQuilt improve your quilting? So back in the September time, um, I had this amazing experience with this outstanding quilter. And I was learning all sorts of quilting uh, techniques. And the one thing that made the process so much easier with the quilting was that my blocks were cut and pieced together accurately. So they weren't offset. Because when you're trying to quilt them, you know, if, if the line's yeah. off, then the quilter's going to find the line. And so with my AccuQuilt system, all the blocks finished to the same size every single time. It was fabulous. All right, don't forget to share. We're giving away our two and a half inch half square triangle multiples die and a uh, two pack. Why two packs, Christina? Because you'll wear through the mats way faster than the dies. Yes. Thousands of cuts with our dies, hundreds of cuts with our mats. Six by 12 cutting mat. Be sure to share. Um, Leslie will be picking a winner at the end of the show. Christina will announce it and I will clap. There we go. There. All right. Next, real quick, I'm going to talk about parallelograms. I know there's a die for that. Okay, um, but I want to show you just some really quick um, projects that you can make using parallelograms and half square triangles to make them. Okay, it's just all about how you place the seam. So I'm just going to cut a few small parallelograms. Okay, while Christina tells us, what did people get? Um, Lois received the Morning Star die. <sighs> I love that die. Yvette says, hi from New Jersey. She got hi. the truck, the gnome, and the camper for Christmas. Oh, she did well. I think that's the perfect little set. Be I so do. Cool. I do too. 
Okay. Um, Sherry got the six inch and eight inch cubes plus many others. Lots of cubes were given for Christmas. Lots of like. cubes. You guys will all want to watch that um, video we did a couple of weeks ago yes. about the cubes. It was an event, right, Christina? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it lives yes. on our Facebook page. Okay, I'm just going to rough cut some of this because I can. Okay. Oh, I do have a ruler. This is kind of, that's oh, all right. There's a lot of people asking if I got the 10 inch cube for Christmas. <laughs> Christina did get a 10 inch cube I did. and she was so excited about that. And why do we want the 10 inch cube, Christina? I, I like the 10 inch because it makes those bigger blocks and I really yes. like the big kind of, they feel a little bit more modern to me. Yeah. And, the and math you don't have easy. to do math. Yes. All right. I mean, that's why I love my 10 inch cube. Okay. Listen, there's a quilt under this cutting mat, so oh. it didn't really want to cut. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm just going to cut some. Um, I can do six layers. I'm just gonna cut some little half square triangles and I'm just gonna show you how you can make some real fast parallelograms. I know it's wonky, it's okay because that's the lengthwise green on the other one. Okay, all right. Ooh, Becky said that she bought the Hunter Star as a post Christmas gift to herself. Oh, there you go. Love that. Hunter Star has been around for a long time. Oh, it's so classic. It's just great. I think anytime we post about it on like social media, it's always the most interacted with. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, let me just show you parallelograms here and then I'm gonna kind of clean up my space here. Ooh, I'm gonna turn off my screaming hot iron. Okay. So the thing about parallelograms, um, Ms. Chelsea, can we have our little graphic back up there? So I can see what I'm doing. Perfect. Okay. So if you're making parallelograms, here we go. Oh, there's on, a really on. good question from Gail. Yes, Gail. She said, what is the key to cutting just the right amount of material for the die so you don't waste any of the fabric? So Gail, what you want to do is you want to take your die, you're going to take your clear plastic ruler, um, these are what we measured snow with yesterday, our whole company. Um, so this measured at five inches, so I'd add a quarter of an inch and just cut five and a half inches. Yeah, I think the key is that subcutting. Just make sure you've got the right size strips to put on there. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So now I'm looking here. So I can do this one like this, and then this one goes like this. And now look, see? Those are parallelograms. And I know we have a die for that, okay? But I kind of like to sometimes take half square triangles and make parallelograms with them. I, it just gives it a different look. And I feel like you can just get so much more color in there mm -hmm. if you're just using half square triangles to make parallelograms, okay? Or if you want to, Christina's gonna try it this afternoon. She's gonna use um, and make half square triangles <laughs> or parallelograms by hand, okay? There we go. All right. The last thing I want to show you. Oh, don't forget our code. Uh, quilt 15. Yes. You can take an additional 15% off. Yes. Anything you anything didn't get the, for Christmas, you can yes. order now. You can order yes. yourself a Christmas if present. If Santa didn't get you what you wanted, today is the day to get it. <laughs> okay? Because we have 15% off. Okay? The code is quilt15. Cody. There was no Pam said so the whole year. I pa waited patiently, maybe <laughs> last year. Okay, this is my final pro tip of the year. Are you excited? Yes. I know, I'm excited. So what I did was um, I took all of the shapes of the cube and I cut them out of craft foam, okay? You could use fabric if you have a design wall or felt or whatever you want to. So these are the half square triangles that I've, that I've cut. Now, um, the ones from the cube, okay, I know you're, you will want to write the number, like this is shape number three. I know this is shape number three. I've used it a couple of times, okay? So um, what I did was, um, so Oakley, here's a cute little picture of Oaks. This is her sassy, happy new year look, okay? Um, so what I did was, during the um, holiday season, I gave Oakley all of the shapes from my cube, and I said, sit here and create a block and That's so she fun. did and she loved them because they were different colors right and they were different shapes mm -hmm. and 
she knew to kind of put them together. And then I took a picture of them so that I could um, make patterns from oh, them. that's so cute. Yeah, so if you're looking for an idea that you want to use with your kids or your grandkids or your nieces or your nephews, that's, this is a great idea. But also, this is a great idea for you as an adult as a quilter, okay? <laughs> so I Googled some half square triangle blocks. And if you Google half square triangle blocks, they come up for days. Look at all of these, okay? So what you can do is then you can take your pieces. Um, let's just do part of this one down here, because I can, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my pieces and I'm gonna just make some of this block, okay? And then, okay, I can talk or I can think. <laughs> Apparently I cannot do both, okay? I'm and glad we then, have a show where you I know, sewing. right? Everybody's like, yeah, and we know. <laughs> okay, and then this, hold on, hold on. So this goes like this, and this goes like this. It's a good thing you're all here to oh, watch me do we this. We have a comment from someone named Pam. Oh, hi, Pam. She says that her husband loves listening in on these shows and many times just tells her to go ahead and order. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. I love that. Okay, I can't get my, there we go, shoo. Okay, and then I have one more. So here's my pink, and then here's my orange, okay? So this is the outside of this block. Now, some of you are gonna say, Pam Heller, this doesn't work right. And the answer is, yeah, it is. We remember we cut off those dog ears Okay, so it's not gonna line up together perfectly, oh, but did, indeed it could. We did have a question about those dog ears, if you could explain them a little bit more. Yes, so in the non-quilting, in the non-acu-quilt world, when you cut a triangle, you just cut a triangle and those little points are there, and then after you sew a quarter inch seam, you have to very carefully, so you don't cut off the stitching, cut off those dog ears. It has nothing, oh yes, it has nothing to do with Puppies. Puppies. <laughs> Somebody ask us about that, okay? So on lots of our dies, we have specialized dog ears. So here you can see these half square triangles, okay, and how they all go together, okay? So this is my biggest pro tip. Cut you a bazillion of them and then just <laughs> make you some and then you can just create your own block. Yeah. I just really love it, okay? All right, let us, what's next? Oh, <laughs> Leslie's gonna pick a winner. Christina's gonna announce it, and I'm gonna clap. Okay, are we ready, Miss Christina? We have a drum roll, please. Yes. All right, our winner is Ruth Kalinowinski. Kalowiski. Ruth, good job, congratulations. <laughs> okay. Christina will be reaching out to you to make sure that you um, get our gift today. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, now listen. Before we sign off for the new year and I tell you what we're gonna do next year, I wanna introduce my amazing AccuQuilt Live team. They are so great. This team has worked so hard for the last year, putting together really, really great shows. Um, Nick is upstairs, he is offsite. Leslie is offsite, Marissa is offsite. But here in the studio, we have Chelsea, yeah, come right up here, just shoo. Oh goodness. <laughs> I know, everybody gets to wave. You can wave as you go by, there you go. There's there Chelsea. You. And here's Chelsea, she does our graphics for us. So Chelsea does our great camera work, Chelsea graphics. She's part of Scotty, yeah. <laughs> okay, yep, and Justin's gonna come oh, on up. Oh, is Justin gonna go up? He is, Justin's oh, gonna goodness. come up. Yay, Justin, he knows about grunge, good job. He's our producer. Okay, we have our knucklehead back there and then always Christina. And Mike should come on up. Um, Mike also helps with our production team. So, yes, so thanks to all of our AccuPoint live team. We have had an amazing year. We are so looking forward to next year, yes. okay? So now it's gonna be a new year and we're gonna start the year off right. We are gonna make little strippy baskets. Yes. Using a variety of strip dies. Make everything super organized. I know that's a huge thing everyone does at the beginning of the year. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. And so next Wednesday, 12 noon central time, all of our AccuQuilt lives start at noon central time, okay? We had a big discussion of whether or not we would be here today because of the snow yesterday, yes. but look at us all but being here. we all here. made it nice and safe. So, I, is that it? I think so. Okay. Yep, that's our strippy basket. This is our strippy basket. I'm gonna make one before next week. 
Look at this. Look how cute these are. Okay, that's what we're going to do next week. Huh. 12 noon central time. All right, listen, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team here, um, I am Pamela Hiller reminding you that at AccuQuilt we 